I have this, which is basically a T-square. These are some uh, shelves. And the T-square slides back and forth, and these slide back and forth on the square. And they represent the sun. Um, so, these are laser pointers. I currently have them at 15 degrees. Uh, this one's at 15 degrees, and this other one is at 15 degrees. And the meat, like, are pretty close to meat. I have to wiggle a tiny bit. There you go, they're both meeting on my hand there now. And to keep them on, just use a clothespin, clo because these things aren't designed to, to stay on. Oh, what have we done? Didn't look quite right. So anyway, you get them to, to meet on one point on your reflector, and wherever the light bounces off the reflector, um, it will... Like basically, you get one of them to, to hit the ball, and one of the reflections has to take two bounces to hit the ball. So you get both, both spots together, wiggle it until one of the spots hit the ball, and then the other spot, see it's coming down here, so you've got to have something up here to make it bounce and hit the ball again. And that's the basis of it. And it doesn't have to be the ball, like you can have something over here, you can have a hole over here, and it can all go towards the hole, or... Um, um, anyway, they're both designed, uh, it's designed to represent the, the sun at the beginning and at the end of its two hour um, cooking time for this thing. And uh, the sun will go across it and so you adjust these, these here until all the light from these two boys hits the ball. And then you go on to the next section. So you do another section, maybe this section here. And you just continue on until it all works. Uh, doing a strip, a strip, a strip, a strip until it's all done. And uh, that's going to be the basis of it. The end up shape is going to be something like this. It might be flatter, it might be. It might come out a little wider, you know, it might be more like a scallop shape, which uh, it will definitely have this on it from what I gather so far. So it's going to have, uh, it's going to end up as a funnel at this end and a kind of maybe scallop shape, maybe wider. I'm not sure exact width, but I just made this up as mock-up just to show show you that it's not, uh, or not to, um, just to show you what the shape would be. You could decide to do something 45 degrees for a three hour accepting time or it could go 60 degrees and they're all going to be different a uh, slightly different shape so rather than me trying to it could take me years um, I thought I'd open up to other people to um, do the same thing themselves and uh, that's really the purpose of this little video okay so in real life, this would be silvered on the inside, and it would be, say your cooking pot, there would be one on this side of your cook cooking pot, or whatever, and there would be another on the other side, and um, so, uh, you can have one or two, and maybe maybe one would be enough, and uh, anyway, i just got to get out the staples and show you what it looks like. This was a, a pleasant surprise actually. Uh, you don't really get that many pleasant surprises in there. So there we have it. Uh, just uh, sheet with a uh, piece of clip down over it and um, you know as things progress I'm sure people will figure out uh, uh, a standard for this you know templates and stuff like that and a little curve here but um, it might end up wider but um, as you can see it's very straightforward
which uh, surprised me to be quite honest. These can be adjusted to whatever angle you like. So if if see like we can put it down to straight down or you can put I have them at fifteen sky. degrees because I uh, this has angle measures on it. Like vertical is extremely easy to when it's thirty degrees off it has to thirty degrees off of uh I'm saying off of vertical which is sixty on this I think. So 55, 65. So here, oh, we're nearly, we're nearly perfectly at. But as you can yeah. see, um, uh, this could could be like, if I make it slightly better, it could be an extremely powerful tool for um, designing um, reflectors. And, and uh, well, this wasn't hitting it before, but at least it went under. But now it's going to the side of it, behind it. So we're going to go more, and this is probably, I don't know, something like 70 degrees along. Mm. And we're just going to see where what happens. Mm. We can figure out where the light is going. Oh, it's going yeah. So there we go. Of course it's going to hit again because uh, it's set up, designed that way. And this one goes out here behind it. So it's uh, missing it. In, instead of missing it below, oops, it's missing it uh, to the um, be behind the ball.